If this guy could just get out of my way, I can enter this super secret code into this vending machine. Please. Let me in, please. Access granted. No way he just stole my seat. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so join this game. There is a super super secret free item in this game. And it'll show you how to get it. It's super easy, just watch. Open your map, and go to where I click here. Use a card to go much faster, and you will get there in no time. We are almost there, just up this hill, through this tunnel. And then we will make a ride and find this giant building here. Now that you guys are here, earlier makes sense, that was a secret area in this building. We need the night vision goggles in this secret area, if then we will buy it, it's also free. Then we will reset. Are you serious? Click your phone at the bottom, go to settings, and make sure you turn on your night vision goggles we just got. Nice. And here is the important part, make sure you memorize this map, or take picture of it. The Shino head represents the secret stuff we have to collect, as long as you know where they are, it actually won't take you too long to collect them all. The secret stuff also has this weird beeping sound it makes when you get close to one, so that makes it even easier to find. They also glow pretty brightly because of our handy night vision goggles. So that's very cool. To make your experience even easier, just watch where I find them all in this video. All locations are the same for everybody, so as long as you know what landmarks to look for, it should be pretty easy, so watch this video carefully. What? This one was a little tricky actually, I was looking for a while here, when I didn't know you can climb this giant tower, and from looking from up top, I spotted the secret stuff from here. <laughs> yeah boy. This next one is like a little campsite. Look out for the smoke from the campfire to spot this one. The last one I get here is in the middle of the city. Probably the easiest one. After getting the last of the secret stuff, the lasers from the secret place we were earlier unlocks. Now we can go over there and see what they have been hiding. I bet it's three items they are hiding. Let's go. Now we just have to enter the secret code again. Choco donut, hot dog, drink, pink donut, glazed donut, hot dog, and lastly, drink. Now we can run past this first part, because we have unlocked more secrets, follow me. Use a car here, and drive as fast as you can. This is the important part, enter the super secret code. Oh no, more people have found this secret, I gotta hurry, make sure you look that the rocket is actually open, then we will have to just wiggle our way in there. This is longer to get another free items out there, but this one sure does look cool, so I say it was really worth it. Make sure you guys get this item too before it's Thank gone. You. Hey guys, there is this new game that has just released today. I will make sure to leave a link in the description below. So once you load in, make sure to make your avatar as pretty as possible. This is Hello. crucial. After you make your avatar, you will get this unskippable cutscene. It's cool I guess, you get to see what this game has to offer. And if you go where I go here, you can actually see all the free items in this game so far, and also how to get them. There is a tutorial on the top left side of your screen, as long as we follow the instructions, we won't get lost. Now click the plane icon, and follow where I go here, this is where we can teleport between maps. We don't have to walk around everywhere when we can fast travel. Very nice. So I wanted to do this mini game first, but something really weird happened, just watch. 3, 2, 1, GO! What? It must be glitched or something. What name are you doing? I will be going back to this another day. But for now, let's do what works. So follow where I go here, we will start with the other mini game first, and it should be pretty easy, come on, let me show you. We are looking for the theater, it has a giant clock on it, so it's pretty hard to miss, now go inside. Sing sing sing! And you should be able to talk to the NPC here, at first I thought it was a real player, now start this mini game. We need to get two coins, 
They act as clothes, and we need to go back to the stage. You have chips on where the coins are at the top of your screen. You also have a purple arrow leading you to the general direction. Once you get close enough, the purple arrow will disappear. But you should be able to see the coins when that happens. Now that we have the clothes, all we gotta do is strike a pose. But the crazy thing is, you actually do not have to do all that. That is literally doing too much. You can actually just sit here away from keyboard, and you will still make progress on the free item, which is to play this mini game five times. Or you control this NPC and hide her. This way nobody will be able to find the mission. Hee. <laughs> Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! And just like that, we got the new free item. And it looks super Thank cute! You. Next, join this game. You can actually still get the free item in this game. Except for this hat. I think this hat got cursed or something because it's unavailable now. But luckily enough, we can still get a free item in this game. Just follow me. Quick cutscene. But once you are here, go to the portal straight ahead. We need to activate the oxygen. Breathe air! Now stay here for 5 minutes, that's it. Enjoy your free item. I'm glad new players can still get this item. It's a pretty cool science backpack not gonna lie. Yoink. Next join this game. The free item still available in this game is super easy to get. You literally get the free item just by joining the game. How cool is that? Now you have two more items, and they look adorable when born together. Easy. After that one, join this game. It's a good thing this game still exists, because the free item in this game is also really easy to get, like the last one. You also get this one just by joining the game. You can't define free item more than this. Yes! 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 Wait, you want more items? Okay, join this game next. This will give you another one, and it takes no effort to do this one too. Just join the game and finish the tutorial. It literally takes 25 seconds. Next go to gift cards on Roblox. There is a secret free item code that actually still works. So make sure you redeem this one if you haven't already, before it's gone. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? After that code, join this game. You get so much free items in this game that all you have to do is load in. Now you can enjoy all these outfits. If you've made it till the end, might as well subscribe. Thank you! Ready to get more free items? <laughs> um, game? What the fridge? Okay, now where did my motorbike go? Okay, I quit. Welcome back, now search this game. This is a brand new game right now and we can get so many free items in this game. Let me show you. This one for race every race, and this one for collect 100 cogs. Sounds good to me. But first, you must finish the tutorial. So make sure you just follow the arrow leading you, and you will complete the tutorial in no time. You get some free bikes and you meet some NPC. We'll come back to him later. Just finishing the tutorial. I already collected this much cogs, they are all over the map and I'm pretty sure they respawn, so it's definitely the easiest free item to get from this game. Next, go to all the question marks, and make sure they are the races, you can set a waypoint on your map to make it easier to find. If you finish first, you will be pretty sigma, but, you don't actually have to finish first to get this free item. It's just funny to be on top of the podium every time. But yeah, you will get the free item even if you lose. How cool is that? Also, you can actually click join on the top right whenever someone is doing a race. This will make you finish all the races a lot faster. Just make sure you aren't doing the same race twice. That would be a waste of time for sure. Next, go to the remaining question marks, and you should be able to find all the ramps. The first one is the easiest to find because they actually give you an arrow leading to it. The rest is also still pretty easy as long as you are using your map.
Sometimes it leads you to a race, so just uh. accept it and move on to the next one. Sometimes you get ramps right next to each other, which makes doing this a lot easier. I think there are only about 10 ramps, so it's not that much, but with this game being fairly new, it's kinda buggy sometimes. You can do this cool bike glitch to jump higher and make shortcuts for yourself. This way, you will get to the next ramp much faster. Yes! 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 It's really weird, if you hit the ramp at a weird angle, it actually will not register, and you will have to go all the way back again to do the jump again. It's pretty annoying when this happens, but just look forward to all the free items, it will all be worth. Believe me, this Is ramp right here I had to redo, right but on my way back to this ramp, I saw something. I'm not quite sure what it was. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is- Too bad I'm busy. Only a couple of ramps to go. I think overall, this took me about 15 minutes. Pretty fast for a lot of free items. And driving around this map was pretty relaxing. I actually like driving games a lot. Right. So I hope you guys enjoy playing this game as we get our free items. This is when the game started glitching again. I almost quit here actually. Crazy I can climb rocks like this. And looky, that should be our last jump over there, finally. Now look at these cool free items we just got. I think they are meant to be all worn together, because it's all matching. This is absolutely so good.